What happens, though, if you are a doctor, maybe you have uh, your own practice, mm-hmm. maybe you're in with a, another couple of your colleagues, you're yes. trying to just provide patient care, and suddenly you're told, oh, by the way, the coding system yes. just got five times longer? Uh, yeah, and um, you know, I'll give you an example. In the ICD-9 version, uh, there used to be, okay, so now in the ICD-10, if there's like a right knee replacement or a left knee replacement, there are two separate codes for that. So they all these codes, a lot more, there's a lot more of them because they include laterality, um, like the left and, and right knee replacements. Under the ICD-9 version, there wasn't two specific codes for that, but a provider could put a modifier by saying, okay, well, this is a left or right, or modify the diagnosis how they want to, and then they would get reimbursed for that. So I think that's an example of kind of an excessive and just administrative waste. I mean, it takes away time. There are more providers now who are seeing less patients, and there is a recent article in the Charlotte Observer about this, that there's smaller practices, like you're saying, who are seeing fewer patients per day because they're trying to just figure out this new coding system. And of course, there's going to be initial turbulent rollout and everything, but it, you know, there's more administrative hassle that providers have to deal with every day, and it really um, weakens the provider-patient relationship. How do they keep up with this? I mean, do they hire people whose sole job is just to understand the codes? Yes. I mean, there's a lot of medical coding. There's uh, administrative staff, medical assistants. A lot of them now have to go through more training just to figure out this coding system. Wouldn't that add to the cost of Absolutely. the care we're yes. receiving it if totally, they ever get around to providing totally it? totally adds a, a lot more to administrative and complex convoluted paperwork and costs for any medical practice. And it really, it's it's kind of putting, you know, private practices on the road to extinction, actually.